tutor um today we are going to be having our daily shot of physics and um, the topic is electricity yes and the, th and the question says using the data in the circuit illustrated below calculate the value of r r means resistance so using this um, diagram here let's calculate the value of the resistance now look at this diagram yeah this is a cell a well connected cell we have the voltage here we have the um the current here that's the current and uh, the resistance and we have to calculate this the value of this r now note remember our formula that was derived from ohm's law which is v equals i um r okay this is a formula derived from ohm's law and if you have to make r the subject of formula that would be r equals v over i and we have our value of voltage here to be two right and the value of i is 40 milliampere that is 40 times 10 raised to power minus 3 okay 40 times 10 raised to power minus 3 that's the milliampere so if you are going to be using our calculator a calculator by one punch is going to give us what's the, what's the answer using your own phone or calculator the answer is going to be 50 what's the units for resistance the units for voltage is v units for current is amperes what about the units for resistance units for resistance is ohms so remember ohm's law gives us the formula v equals ir in case it's asked in your y question or whichever one this is the formula for ohm's law yes the derived formula for ohm's law which is the voltage equals i r okay now um we use this formula by rearranging our r making it a subject of formula putting in our values 2 for v and 40 for current now let's assume it was 40 microamperes now this is an example of what they call 40 microamperes micro is in the form of u now let's assume you see something like this in your question and you were asked to calculate um you were asked to calculate the the resistance don't just rush to calculate the resistance first make sure you are able to get exactly uh what micro means or milli you know in, in law of in our white question the mistakes that students make nowadays is unit conversion for example let's assume you had gone ahead to solve this question without first interpreting what this milli is you're not going to be getting this 50 um 50 ohms here okay so always make sure that you look at the question very well look at the values you are giving look at the units behind them 40 milliampere is different for 40 ampere if that had just been 40 ampere it would have just 2 over 40 you know not 2 over 40 times 10 per minus 3. the same thing here let's assume the question was changed to 40 micro amperes now 40 micro ampere is the same thing as times 10 raised to power minus 6 yes and it's a micro minus 6 milli is minus 3 we still have um the ecto deca etc but the most important ones you must put in mind is the micro milli we also, we also have the um the nano yes nano means what it means nine okay always remember this nano means nine now we also have other val values such as um the mega mega means times 10 raised to power 6 not minus 6 this time around but times 10 raised to power 6 so micro is the uh okay i think no mega is not 10 raised to power 6 i'm very sorry about that but micro is minus 6 in particular and we have our milli yeah the milli millimeter that's the name the full me micrometer millimeter decameter heptometer etc all of them they are much just make sure you study all these tables okay so it's very important you know the units before you solve the question so that's all about this question for today thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe thanks